This tutorial demonstrates the connection of a handheld scanner to a field pass system. In this case we use the Ethernet TCP IP network. The intention is to show exemplarily the commissioning and configuration of the software settings so that the terminal receives and displays the desired scan data results. As further PLC configurations and support are always customer specific and therefore not part of this tutorial. Please contact the PLC manufacturer if you require assistance. The setup contains the following components. Handheld scanner IDM 260, RS-232 connection cable, adapter to convert from 24 to 5 volt, CDF connection device to field buses, power supply for the setup, Ethernet connection cable, Ethernet to USB adapter, special information leaflet for the handheld scanner configuration and a screwdriver, notebook with terminal program and configuration software SOPAS. Commissioning of the hardware. Connect the handheld scanner to the RS-232 socket named device of the CDF using the scanner connection cable and the adapter converter. Use the screwdriver to tighten the screws. Before powering up the device, it is important to set the mode switch from default position 0 to position 2 to start the gateway mode. If you don't follow the step, the complete setup fails. Then connect the CDF to the Ethernet cable and the converter. All components are powered by external power supply. After powering up the hardware, all LEDs light up briefly. The red LED indicates that the Profinet I.O. module is working in Ethernet TCP IP mode. The green and blue LED indicate the operation mode and the correct electromechanical connection. For correct communication, the handheld scanner must be configured in serial working mode, which is done by scanning the configuration barcode from the special information leaflet. Connect the CDF via the Ethernet cable with your notebook. The LED for the Ethernet data transmission indicates the right connection. The following procedure shows the exemplary configuration of the system click by click. Open the SOPAS engineering tool. If required, download the software from the SIG homepage. SOPAS automatically shows the connected device. At first, you have to set an IP address. Click on Edit IP address. For connecting the host with the CDF, the two IP addresses and the subnet mask have to match. Modify the IP address of the CDF into the same area by changing the last number into 192.168.0.12 The subnet mask has to be identical. Now the host is connected with the CDF. The next step is to install the device driver. Choose from mysig.com. Now search for CDF. Execute the Profinet IO version 1.30. Go online to establish a connection to the device. Open the configuration mask of the CDF by double clicking the CDF symbol. Now open the terminal program. We use Hercules for displaying the data results. Switch to TCP iClient and make sure that the module IP is the IP address, which is given to the CDF and the port number is the same as the Ethernet host port number in SOPAS. The Ethernet host port number in SOPAS can be checked under Parameter and then Ethernet. Now connect the program with your handheld scanner. The correct connection is shown in the terminal. Now scanning results are displayed. This tutorial demonstrated the exemplary setup of a field bus system with a handheld scanner.